if you are really new to AWS Lambda and wondered about what this uh, Lambda handler really does, then you have really landed to exactly right video. Hey guys, my name is Ram Lare, and in this video, we are going to talk about what is Lambda handler and how can you really easily understand it. So I do come up with a background about JavaScript and in frameworks really like Node.js framework like Express. So in that framework, we have kind of functions to write about, let's say, app.get or app.post, put delete. We define a particular route, we define a function, then we execute and we define what do you want to execute the code or what we want to process the incoming request or data. So talking about any tech stack or any backend in general, it has two major components. One is the routing or the networking part. The second one is about the compute or processing part. So let's talk about uh, Express Framework. The Express Framework kind of really merges or the Express Framework has the function which uh, combines both together in a single function about the routing and the compute part. Let's say we define an app.get and, and, and within that paragraph we define a function about what code do you want to execute on particular request. So in particular tech stack we get this both. But in case of Lambda, this is not kind of really get through that. We, for in managing the request, we need an API gateway. But what this Lambda, what this Lambda really does is just to manage and process the data. So unlike Express, where the compute and the networking part are both combined together in a one function, the, ex the Express handler is kind of really different, where the request is actually handled by external source. The uh, Lambda handler does only process the things. It does not handle the request. So the request handling part is done by the API gateway or any other load balancer stuff that you can use with AWS in general. So what we are going to do is we are going to try to understand about how this Lambda handler really does in really does play into it. So here's the computer screen and that's now what we're going to talk about. So as you can see, we are now in the computer screen. So as you can see, this is our Lambda and exports.handler is equal to async uh, event and then there is this response json object and we want to execute return this response now let's talk about what this handler really does so the way the lambda really works is you need this lambda handler in order if you don't really specify this it will just not work so if you really want if i really just go up right here let's say if i go uh, let's copy this control C. Let's I go up right here to like erase this and I just paste it over here and I let's try to deploy this. Okay, and let's try to test it right now. Okay, so what this is giving is really that this is giving me an error that's like let's say uh, runtime handler not found. So the way the Lambda really works is you need a handler in order to process there. So similarly, what we what we seen in Express, just like you need to specify a function about app.get, app.post, app.delete, uh, except the cases here, the routing part is done by the, uh, let's say, API gateway. So what we are going to do is we are come over here right again in order to really demonstrate how it is done correctly. So what we are going to do is we will come over here and we will try to understand line by line. So as you can see, this is export.handler and this is an async event. Now what this event really means? Now the way the Lambda really works is it falls into category about serverless paradigm. Now, and you might really know about serverless only works when there is an event that is triggered. So and what can be triggered? So there are multiple ways an event can be triggered by Lambda in order to the, the Lambda in order to be get really a function or executed, there must be a trigger. So that trigger can be, let's say, from API gateway, that trigger can be from CloudWatch, that trigger can be from, let's say, uh, S3, DynamoDB, step function and various other stuffs. So and that trigger is form of an events. So when this event really is triggered, 
the lambda only execute that at only that instance so that's what essentially serverless really means so coming back over here here is our own really well versed uh, default code that is given by aws so what we'll try to do is we'll deploy this and we'll try to just test it out right there so as you can see we got this response back from uh, what the code has been written over here so if you are kind of if you want to just take this up control x and let's try to come over here and let's try to run this then over this let's try to deploy this again and let's try to test it so as you can see it just works really fine so similarly like express if you really want to deploy this and if you want to test it up right there so the code you want to execute you just mentioned in lambda lamb uh, let's say export.handler and then return it the response factor as well so how actually really look how actually this really looks into the coding aspect so well what i have done is i have installed a serverless framework this code snippet so what you can do is if you come over here i've already created a text stack using serverless uh, sls create i have initialized the credential but, but by the way this serverless framework is in itself is a really heavy and deep topic which is out of the scope of this video which we can surely cover into the next video in future so stay subscribed for that but what i've really done is to i have really tried to show in the demo how it really looks and what is the bunch of similarity in, in express and all that thing so what it really does is into the serverless.yaml this is the main file now what it all this really does you don't need to account for it for this video because that is out of the scope i as i previously mentioned so what it really does it takes the function about hello and the handler name is hello which you can see in this uh, handler.js which is really the what we have exported as the handler name is hello and this code has been by default uh, pre-bundled within serverless framework so that we really don't need to do much about it so what you have what additional thing that i've really done is i have just added an event so what i've added, added an event is let's say if anyone uh, hits an api uh, hits and request to this slash route and the method is get so this uh, lambda handler will return this message about go serverless your function is ready to execute so as you can see i have already deployed this uh, using sls deploy uh, and if you can see this is my endpoint that i'm going to test it up right there so what i'm going to do is i'll come over here so as you can see i've got this message up right there so basically lambda works in a such a way though lambda only handle the compute part not the routing part the routing part is done by the lab api gateway or load balancer what do you want to attach the lambda in general as well so if you really want to take what i've really talked about and if you want to extend that knowledge i've mentioned two links below that will really help you to understand aws lambda in general about the first video is about from sam williams from complete coding uh, he has talked about what is the difference between async and callback lambda handlers the second one is about a playlist from self uh describing about the, the every detail aspect about the lambda in general in that way you can really grasp the entirety about the lambda handlers and you can be well versed with it so this really wraps up our basic discussion about what is lambda handler and how can you really use it so if you have any question queries comments or any some sort of suggestion just leave down in the comment box below and i'll be happy to get back to you till then stay connected stay subscribed which is more important and i'll see you next time